connections at these schools is like, Absolute watch out, we're going to yeah. open I said, it up. Do you think I'm right? You didn't say it. it. <laughs> the light went off. <laughs> what, the fuck was that? what kind of crime you got in here? <laughs> okay, Barstool Pick'em week one is brought to you by our friends at Barstool Golf Time Supreme. Summer may be winding down, but your golf game shouldn't. That's why the golf Barstool Golf Time app has made it super easy to compare and book your next tee time. We have over 6,000 courses available to book nationwide. Whether you're looking for the best course, the most fun course, or the best value in the area, the Barstool Golf Time app makes it easy to reserve a tee time for yourself or with friends. Their new reservation sharing option allows you to take control and book tee times for the whole group. Download and sign up for the Barstool Golf Time app. Today, available on the App Store or Google Play. It's 100% free to use. Hank's been using it all summer. Go download it. So is Rico, the golf boys, the vacation boys. Download and sign up for the Barstool Golf Time app. Today on the App Store or Google Play, it's 100% free to use. Okay. Pick them. Week one. Uh, we are all on Zoom. We will, we will be back together in some capacity after this week. Rico will be in Chicago. Dave, I'm not sure what his full schedule is. We'll probably be together a few times over the course of the season. Pretty much the exact same thing as last season where Dave was in Miami and then Rico and I will be together. Uh, week zero in the books. Shout out Rico Bosco, the sharpest gambler I know. Minus six and a half on USC was one of the greatest lines we've ever seen, Dave. Literally the greatest line we've ever seen. How do you do I, it? I, I, at no point was that less than a 30-point spread. And by the way, I guess you're saying it was minus 200, Rico? Is that what I heard? Yeah, that morning it was 192, and then the day before it was definitely available. Uh, I wrote it down. I didn't. I fucked up, didn't put it in. Oh, we you didn't bet it. Oh, oh, no, oh, you don't have the slip. What a surprise. You don't Bradley have the slip about of the, awards. Of the mythical of the mythical bet oh, that couldn't have possibly existed at the price you wanted, but you don't definitely have available. it. Oh, yeah. Rico. Yeah. Won't happen again. That, uh, that's crazy because it seems like it happens all the time. Yeah, I know. It's, it's weird a, when you get yeah, called right. to the mattresses on these mythical bets. Who's you don't seem available. to have the proof. Definitely available. Yeah. Because a 31-point spread or a 30-point spread is damn. usually six and a half first quarter. By the way, since when are we doing minus 200 bets to begin with on this show? Well, yeah, that's where it was, it was early. I fucked up. I sh you can't be late in that. that was What's crazy. wrong with your mic? Rico, Rico, What's Rico, wrong Rico. with your mic? What the, right, I don't turn, know. I, I'm only a victim of the, the equipment. Where, you why, are you, wearing, why is it looking that way? victim of the equipment. Turn the microphone. You haven't turned the wrong way, dude. Now speak into it. Okay. Now angle it upwards. See how it's angled downward? Like angle it upwards and then try not to move your head and like bounce around. It, you got to be talking into the, 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 not on top of it, in, like into it. Like that, this. Wait, was, was that real how you just had go. it? You literally were like this. Well, he told me have it sideways. Talking to the side. No, like talking to the side. You put it sideways. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You just into it. the side. There's four sides, so I would assume you were you were normal. talking to the top, like you were like ice cream cone. Can I guys say something? You you're in my office, right? Right. Yeah. I have done zooms, no less than one million times. Did they done change the rundown the there a hundred times? Did they change Ooh. the equipment on you? No. I don't know. We were in here at seven. I, I... What do you mean you were in here at seven? Like setting it up, test, Mike, test. I don't, but it's not even set up. It just sits there. Like I just, use that for everything I do in the office. I've never had any complaints. It's just you're talking into a microphone. What did you, you do? Hold into yep. the side of it. Where'd he go? I think he's probably he's gonna he's gonna freeze on us, Dave, because he's got minus six and a half USC. Uh, one other piece of that, by the way, he gave that out on Wednesday. They don't release quarter lines on Wednesdays. He just made up a line and made said it, it, and then was like, "Oh, I'll get credit for it." Yeah, you got to get better. Why lie? But what? Where did you lie? come up with it? You didn't even see the line. It wasn't live when you. It was live. Yeah. How was it live on a Wednesday? You. I mean, we're not huh? shouting anybody else out, right? No, you saw Sorry. it on a Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday morning. I did mm -hmm. see it. No, you didn't. Okay. No, you didn't. Okay. All right, you're right. Got to get better. Fix the mic. 
Get better. Won't happen again. Rico tried I to get me. Rico, Rico tried to right. Me. No, you're Dave. You're the leader. Get fucking in line, dude. Let's go. Get better. I'm a listener. Guys can change. You're right. Won't happen again. But my only question, not about the lying. You'll always lie and try to pull that over. I'm thoroughly. Quick confused. question: If we could call Smacky Jables, you still stand. don't sound good. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Do you have it backwards? Well, Right, That's my go. only hold question. It, hold it up. Hold I don't it up. need. Now I don't need anybody else. I I don't know why that everybody is able to sit in that chair and be crystal clear, and you can't. It's just luck of the draw. Sometimes. No. 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 <laughs> uh, People think that this show, what, what, like, they're like, oh, you guys should be on Zoom, like David. When some of the how's iconic it taste moments. now? How's it sound now? Is it better now? <laughs> it sounds like you crawled into our ears. All right. See the turn it around. I don't pick it up. I just turn it around. Turn it around. And talk like and a normal press, human. Press the button, Rico. This button. Now Better? try. No. Better. Press it again. Better. No. <laughs> yeah. Wait. No. It's... Keep talking. Better. How is this possible? Were you just messing around there? with it? Is I didn't mess around with anything. I never fucking mess with it. it it's a little better. Like that? Who's that? Austin? No, Liam. Better? Yes. Oh, Jerry. Hey. It's an it's insane why you can't do it. Insane. Better? Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Yeah, I'll just turn him. I was telling him about the game. What's up, Jerry? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> I was confused. All right, wait. wait Jerry, we're, we're in the middle of a discussion real quick. One last thing. Better? Um, all right, hold on. Now Sal is going crazy. Hold on. Keep talking, Rico. Count to 20. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Yell, yell, yell. Yell, last next yell. Time. Yeah, Jerry. All right, so you just got to try and keep keep it down or all turn right. the game down, Liam, or up, whichever one. Better? That is better. All, all right. right. What, what do you – What are you Jerry doing? Rico, what do you, uh, we'll get to Jerry. What did you want to call Jack to the table for? Jack, did you see six and a half the day before? Jack? Um, I did see it on Wednesday. Yeah. It was minus two, like, All right. 20. It's... And, then, and then I tweeted about it, and Rico texted me on the did. side. He's going to get yelling. so mad at you all season. I know, Rico, what it was because I shouldn't have even bet I shouldn't have even put in minus seven, minus 140. I did that right. because I lost. I, unlike you, Rico, every single bet that I put on pick them, I bet. I so I was in the mode on Saturday. I was firing live bullets, and I just started firing live bullets and just tweeting out what I was playing. But that shouldn't have counted either. I shouldn't have had because that was a minus 140. Yeah. Like, that was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. And that was minus seven. Minus six and a half didn't exist on the book. It just didn't exist. It was not there. You can't move first quarter lines like that. They don't let you buy that many points. Right. Right. Minus 210. All right. Um, we'll get to the Navy stuff in a second. Jerry's on real quick because Jerry was texting me last night. and He was like, what's the deal with Dave and advisors? Like, I feel like his heart's not into it. I was like, why don't you ask him yourself? And I said, hey, we're going to do pick him. Why don't you come ask him yourself? So, Jerry. Yeah, no, listen, I'm just uh... – I'm just here pretty much to check in. Like, you know, you're in, you're out a couple times a week. Then it's, I don't know if I'll be in Chicago. Then it's, I'm going to be in Chicago a lot. I mean, my fans are asking, like, what the deal is. Like, <laughs> am I going to be on or am I not? <laughs> You'll be on when I'm not there. So when you're so when you're there, I'm just off doing rants and other things. Yes. So no fourth chair, you're saying. I don't know about fourth chair. Let me put this way. Like, again, I'll put it in terms you know. If you're a Steeler fan and if Roethlisberger was healthy, he goes. If Roethlisberger is not healthy, the backup's ready to go. Okay, but, yeah, I understand that. But now, I think Jerry thinks his fans are saying that he's Roethlisberger. No. <laughs> no. You, I'll put it into terms that you can understand. Oh. This, is, this is like – Kenny Pickett, Jersey Jerry, starting quarterback, and then you come in and it's like, 
hey, does Big Ben have another couple passes left in him? <laughs> no, I would say Roethlisberger <laughs> with five years and a couple of rings. Tommy Maddox had a good year. Like, you don't just go. Rico, 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 Rico. You're not part of advisors. God forbid I, I have Dave's say... back. Dave, you don't need to follow. You know what? You're right. I'll just go back. Ro... I, just, I just, listen. Robot Dave, I... Rico's back. You missed a pit bull, huh? You fucking cut his balls. And now this is what you got. All right, you know what? <laughs> fucking bring Jerry on, man. You want me to flip? I'll flip. Bring Jerry on then. Dave, you want me back on your side or you want me to go to Jerry's? No, I'd like you on my side. I just did, and you got it's a two on two here. It's fucking Mario Kart, Mario Party. Wait, two wait, hold on. I, 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 I didn't say I didn't say anything, and, and it's I, the wrong. It's it's more for Jerry. It's more like a Brady example. Like when Brady goes to Tampa, the the quarterback. It doesn't matter how old he, he's out. You, you, it's a legend of the game coming in. You got to wait your turn. And by also, the way, it's not that hard. Also, I'm not, I'm not on, I'm not on Jerry's side in the fact that it's Dave's show, just like Dave, Stu, and I did the show to start with. It's the three of us. Like Jerry's been We're great. I, I, I love having Jerry on, but if Dave is there, Dave's the show. Okay, then Dave has to deal with the backlash. Then that's that's fine. <laughs> the backlash of who? Sounds you like did, he's got an you army. Did, you didn't show up last year, Dave. People are pissed. What are you talking about? I didn't show up. I did. I did half this year. You I did, had a tax you, issue. You did like three weeks. No, I did more than that. Well, all right. Listen, I'm gonna. I got. I got other things I got to do. But I, I'm just gonna say this: if you want to deal with these people, you deal with them. That's it. Are you threatening me with your army? <laughs> no, not at all. My guys would never. That's go what after that you. sounded like. Not my guys what? would never go after you. Then who are you talking about? Guys that aren't my guys. <laughs> Wait, what? They. Guys that aren't your guys will come after me because you're not on the show? Just look at the YouTube comments, Dave. That's all. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean guys that aren't your guys? Just just regular Barstool fans. Are going to go after Dave? Put Dave on week one. Is that I'm a threat? I'm not going to be there week one, I don't think. Like, so all the, right, so week two. There you go, Jerry. You're on oh, week I'll, one. I will, I will definitely be there for certain weeks, which you will not be on the show. All right. All right, that's it. That's all I got. Now I know. Now I have. I can respond to all these DMs I'm getting. That's all. All right, but enjoy, but enjoy Jerry, Jerry, Christmas. you're still gonna do. You're still gonna do a bunch of advisors. So what's the problem? Probably more than probably more than me. Yeah, you're still gonna do the majority of advisors. I know. I'm. That, I, all right. Yeah, that's that's good. I'm happy. I love the show. So what do you want to do? You want to be on the show if I'm on the show? You want to do it with me? Well, I don't. What do you want? Yeah, I mean, Hank I, I say, feel, Hank I saying feel, no. Hank, okay, now I'm dealing with Hank too. Now, all right. <laughs> I mean, it's I've fucking been directing the show ever ever since it started, Jerry. You've been on for a year. All right, no problem, no problem. But, That's but Hank, the YouTube comments. Yeah, four chairs. That the the, the, the we couldn't do four chairs. I wouldn't. Would, no one would survive. It's probably good for the show. You know, your your, your act could wear thin. Also, Jerry. Uh, I'm not even gonna do it. I'm not I'm gonna No, do say it, Hank. No, 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 say it, Hank. Hey, we're having a full no, discussion. No, Come on. I'm I'm just the analytics guys, and the, and the it show performs better with Dave. That's that's my only that's my only point. How many how many views did it drop off? You think, Hank? Probably like 10, 15 percent. No shot. Oh, that's pretty big. No shot. I'll do some research tonight. No All shot. Right. No okay. shot. Right. Well, okay. the why no shot, Jerry. Uh, I asked you this point blank, and you answered. Do you think you're you have a bigger fan base than I do? No, no, not at all. So then, why are those, those stats so shocking to you? I I, I can't see fifteen percent. I could see five percent. You think no. I'm only five percent bigger than you? No, I wouldn't say that. But like, this is a, well, how. Like what percentage do you think I am bigger than you? It just in general. Yes. 70 oh all right so then like that what so hank's stats aren't that crazy no but you act like i mean you're doing vegas drinking at clubs and all these things those people don't watch advisors what are you talking about vegas drinking at clubs I don't know. You're in nightclubs. You're in, you know, in all different types of scenes. What, am, I, am, I, is, am I now talking to Rico from three years ago? I don't go out. No. 
And he got Jack smiling, begging to go to a club. All right, I'm gone. Later. All right, Jerry. Oh, Jerry so you're, Jerry, you're just Rico. He's, he's just going into Rico now. <laughs> we got Rico. Jerry, we got a good resolution here. Dave what? is literally saying he's you're going to do the majority of shows. Uh-huh. But when he's there, it is a show. I which feel I like 100% you're, you're, agree with. You're picking a fight with me. I don't know why I like you, Jerry. I don't know what you're trying to be like. You can't come back on the on your own show that you created. No, it's like, what are you talking about? I, I All I'm saying is... You gave up on the show last year. I mo- I was in Miami, yes, a lot. Yeah, and like think about how people are going to react. Like, dude, like you you pretty much went up and left the show, and now it's like, oh, everything's good now again. I'm back. Well, yeah, I I took the company back. People seem to have reacted positively to that. No, it's a good thing. I agree with that. It's a good thing. All right, listen, I th- I, I you know more than I think about it, I think you know when you're on, I'm off. But when you're off, I'm on. I, I could deal with that. I have the analytics for advisors. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Oh, oh, Austin, right. this is great. This is like a 10-person show now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's... Before Dave left the show, advisors was tracking to grow by double-digit percentages from the previous year. With Jerry filling in, the show ended up dropping 12% Ouch. from the previous so Hank was year. was right, 10 to 15%. Yeah. No, right. I think that actually sounded worse. It sounded a little worse. It went from growing 20% year over year to dropping 12%, sound like. I wouldn't be able to understand that math, but Hank said 10 to 15%. I guess, I guess the math was when I was on the show, it was growing. When you came on the show, it started shrinking. That was the math. Oh, all right. That's fine. Why don't you, why don't you do the whole show? <laughs> <laughs> the whole show. <laughs> are, you, are you on strike now, Jerry? I'm in the middle of the motivation, game. Jerry. You just have motivation. JJ's army, let's show him. Listen, this let's is a team game. Yeah. I, did, I didn't even know I didn't even know we had an issue until you come at me and try to kick me off and no. tell me I can't come back on my own no, show. Hank, I've never Hank's heard Hank's of such right. a thing. Hank's right. I gotta promote it more when I'm on and that's it. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna show Jerry's him. army. Prove him wrong. Jerry and stop. You know what, Jerry? Well, I'll say one thing. Dave is right. You're starting to sound a little bit like Bosco when you just read the good comments and then you're like, hey, look. All these people said that they only wanted me and they wanted Dave out. I told you that. You can't just read those comments. I read the And let me say this. Too. You also let can't just this, read the Jerry. negative comments. That'll put you in the fucking loony. Yeah, that's true. Rico, You're the reverse quiet. Bosco. Uh, um, let me say this, Jerry. A compliment. You're, I, I don't want to like not like you, but I was comfortable with you on the show. Like I could have flown in and flown out on the same day. It would have sucked ass. Yeah. But it's like, oh, the show's still good with Jerry. I, I don't have that. At that point, the goal was phase me out of Barstool. It was doing well. I, right. I'm going to be in Chicago now, not primarily for advisors, but I can get a lot done. I'm going to be flying out a lot for the college game day show. So I'll get in on Friday, do all the content. But you're coming at me trying to kick me off my own show. How am I supposed to? Re- you're backing me into a corner. No. How am I supposed to react? No, you're right. Listen, everything you said was right. Everything Hank said was right. I just gotta, I just gotta be better. That's all. Jerry, I love I'd rather you on the show. I'd rather the show grow and be a hundred times better with you. Then it's one less thing I can do other stuff. But you know, I, I enjoy. To be honest, I enjoy doing the show. It's one of those things you can't do remote. Yeah. So, you know, but I enjoy it. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to working together this year. That's all. Me too. Perfect. I have a good Sounds picture, great. Guys. Have a good picture. Yeah. Jerry. All right, Thanks, Jerry. Later. Thanks, Jerry. All right, we resolved that. I don't know he's trying to make an enemy out of me. Well, he had been texting me nonstop being like, what's the deal with Dave? I was like, just ask him. You gave him an answer. <laughs> he was going with the Bosco route. <laughs> we got it's a lot a of Boscos. It's a bad yeah. route. <laughs> uh, okay, back to That's college football. Navy spread Navy. offense. I mean, every fucking Tom, Dick, and Harry in the comments is saying I said it was the air raid. I said they were going to mix it up. They didn't mix it up. There's three or four different articles that said they were going to mix in short passing. I didn't say they were going to be the you fucking said, air raid. No, you said they were going to open it up, mix throw the ball. in some passing is what the quote was. Rico, Rico, they were 0 for 1. Middle of the fourth quarter, throwing the football. Oh, for one zero yards in they the didn't fourth mix it up. quarter. It was fake news. It was fake news. No, 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 no. That is, you. There's being wrong, and you somehow managed to do things that are wrong on such a colossal level. Like, and by the way, the beauty of when you're so wrong 
it's so obvious you're wrong. It wasn't like you just said something preposterous. I said right away, that's not true. Did like, you see the article? There was, there was being you, you basically, they were going to try by, and by, throw by, the ball. By the, by the way, you didn't say articles or anything. You 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 did this as if uh, one of your connections at these schools is like, Absolutely watch out, we're going to open it up. I said, I'm right. You didn't say it. it. <laughs> the light went off. <laughs> what, the fuck was that? what kind of crime you got in here? <laughs> You'd think that Bosco moves enough for the light. Exactly. I'm I fucking know. like. You're blurry, too, to me, at least. You were blurry to me, so I think that must be a. That's, I don't know. Well, that, we're on Riverside, problem. so everything yeah. comes through clear for the people. That's why we use Riverside. Yeah. yeah. Bottom line is this. That's as wrong as a human can be about anything ever. And Bo, don't you can't say, well, I read it. You said it on a college football show. Yes, via stuff I read. Research. Jack via the article the I've right read. Now. Hey, they're going to try and mix in some passing. You, you, you broke the game down, and you said Navy's going to mix it up. They're going to throw it more. They're going to keep the game close. They have some trick play. 0 for 1 in the fourth quarter. Yeah, one clearly, attempted clearly I was wrong, but the information was That's good. That's not. The information was out there. It just turned out to not be true. You can only, if they're, what they said, they said they were going to mix it up, and then they just didn't do it. I'm okay but why with would the preparation. Any, but, no, why would anybody with a brain believe that Navy has run the triple option for their entire program's history is going to suddenly come out whipping the ball over the all over the air? I don't care who said Like, hey, you said it, and I was like, no, you're wrong. You're a buffoon. I said it in real time. It's because they knew, I knew they were going to run the triple option, but they're, they're tired of being – once you go down 14 points, you can't then keep running the triple option. It takes them out of games. The new coach knew that. And factored that in, and via in the articles was saying to the no press, sense. What what you just said made no sense. Shouldn't they the have new thrown coach it more? Factor, the new coach factored in, falling behind fourteen nothing. No, no, so I didn't say factored into that. The new coach had seen. Uh, can, can we? Can we? Sure, sure. Just when we put this out, and he says he never said factored in. Can we put in that he said the factored new coach in had right factored before in he said he never years said factored of Navy in? Navy history. But you said factored of running in. the triple option and them being down fourteen nothing. Navy's teams being down fourteen nothing, and it's like being down a million because they don't throw the ball. You're just. You're making stuff up right now. Should you they read throw the, the fucking article? They're down fourteen nothing. What? Shouldn't if 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 they're down fourteen nothing? Shouldn't they unveil their new air raid per you? In comes this. Grant Chestnut from Kennesaw State to take the offensive coordinator job and throw several new wrinkles into the system. There will be more of a passing element. The running game will work out of different formations. And when needed, the option is still there. This is all what was forecasted. They just didn't who do said, it. Who, who said that? I believe this was football news. This is college football news. Pete Futick. That's, good a, that's guy. an AI. That's an AI article. Good guy. And by the way. Navy's OC. New plans for increased passing. Impact on Navy's offense. Sports grade. Navy's new offensive coordinator wants to increase passing plays, potentially adding more trick plays to the game to increase their chances. That's all fucking actual shit. They just didn't do it. Where was the part that they said the Navy coach factored 50 years of their that, past history? I mean, into, you just assume it being a football guy. Like, you watch Navy for 50 years. They're down 14. No, no, no. And it's like no, being no, down no. a million. I don't know what they're down 14. Here, here's, I'm using here's an what example. I factored in. Who, here's what I factored by watching 50 years of Navy football. That they wouldn't throw the football because they haven't for 50 years. And they got a new guy in, so... If it was the same coach, yeah, obviously they're gonna, to say that is crazy. New guy, he's trying to mix it up a little bit. It turned out to not be true. I can live with that. I did the research. I, I'll put my hand up. I didn't do the research. Well, I did. I did do the research. I took the under because Navy runs a triple option. They'll always run the triple option. That was for for sure happening. But I did take Navy because I forgot Sam Hartman was on Notre Dame. I wanted to kill myself. That's <laughs> so stupid. I of watched me. that game. Sam Hartman. 15-1 to 1 on the Barcel Sportsbook right now. That is a great Heisman bet. I great. did two, two things on Saturday. I forgot Sam Hartman was on Notre Dame, and I mortal locked Louisiana Tech, and I turned on the game, and fucking Hank Bachmeyer was the quarterback, and I was like, what the fuck? I hate this guy. That the That's the problem with transferring and everything going down. It's, you forget Sam Hartman. Notre Dame is – I this, I – 
was I couldn't I just it ruined my day. Wake was your I, team last I, year. Yeah, because Sam Hartman's a fucking monster. He's yep. awesome. He is a pro quarterback. He's great. I think he's gonna win the Heisman. I think he Notre Dame yeah. will have an What? Why do you do that? Why do you do that? Middle of the sentence. I'm in the middle of a sentence. I believe that was the end. Go, what was the end of that sentence? Go ahead. I think they're. I believe I was saying they're going to make a run at the national title, and he will be the Heisman Trophy winner. And I got Notre Dame will be, and then you just cut me off. All right. Yeah, you're right. Got to get better. Won't do it anymore. But if I was allowed to finish, I would say that Sam Hartman does lead the ACC in passing touchdown history, which only helps your point. He's great. He is great. Um, lastly, My Hawaii pick was pretty spot on. Good. You. You that you know what that was, Dan? That was a Rico season carryover. Yeah, I believe he took Vandy. He's like, well, no, no, no. Vandy no, really Vandy killed him. Team total, and it missed by two points. They had, they scored on the first play of the fourth. You didn't quarter. you didn't reference the game last year? You did. You said Hawaii was terrible. Yeah, their defense is still bad. I thought Vandy was going to score points. Goddamn close. Ah, uh, their defense. By the way, they um. Did you watch the game? Yes. Because Vandy got a kick six return touchdown. The first drive, Hawaii had a zero yard punt. The the drive started at the like yeah, fifteen. Yeah, they got stuffed on the two. They two times on the one. Hawaii should have won the game. I'll give you credit. They should have won the game. But so also, Hawaii's Vandy's defense team though total could have gone over. So we both could have won. You were you were very lucky to even be close to it with those plays. You give up a kick return for a touchdown. Um, and then you give up a, a zero yard punt. There were some things. Hawaii, Hawaii uh, people got. I I knew Ch- Chang has will turn that program around. Mm-hmm. They're not going to be world beaters, but like I like them this week on Island against Stanford. Yeah, Maui, Maui revenge. Yeah. Um. All right. Last thing before we talk about week one. Uh, I don't know. Have we released it, Dave? I we might be waiting for the college football show, but I'll just say it right now. Week one, week two, the Barstool College Football Show will be going to Tuscaloosa for the first time ever, Alabama, Texas. We're very, very excited. I'm psyched. Rico, where what are you, are you at making with a face, Hank? Uh, Tex sent no answer, so we'll uh, we'll oh, have to no. re-up, I guess. Oh no, big friend. Okay, he didn't answer. He's a busy guy. He's not that busy. He's off season, right? Off season workouts, moving kids in, getting them. A clean uh, he doesn't care school. about. The he rules. moves the kids in. Kids are moving in. It's a it's an academic first. Get them situated in class. There's a lot of things going on. Yeah, yeah. He what? He holds their hands and takes them to class first day. Puts a sticker them on them. Is, like hey, I do with my son. Start, this gives him the backpack. It's like policy. go ahead, have a good this, day. Hope you don't cry. You guys, you guys good in your dorms? Yeah, I mean he cares about them. What do you want me to say? You guys good in your dorms? That's a lot. That takes a lot. It does. When did you send the text? That day of. Oh, so it's been a week? Yeah, it's been a week. When do you send his follow-up text? I don't know. Yeah, I got a follow-up on a dinner. He's supposed to be. It's the, When is it? When is the game? A Sept- week from Saturday. September 9th? Oh, so a week from Saturday. He's in town the week after. We're trying to get dinner. So uh, Yeah, that doesn't matter really for I know. I, I thought if it was the week of, it was the 16th, we could go. So uh, no, it's the 9th. I would have worked it the week of, but uh, yeah. I mean, he's definitely going to be there, and he's probably going to be on ESPN Game Day. You think he would be on ours since you're I, yeah, his best you would friend. think. I, I think. I think. Also, think he's got to run some things through the line of questioning, and when he brings it to the PR teams or whatever, it's like, hey, what kind of questions do you think these guys are going to ask? They and don't I, use PR teams. We've saw that last year when mm-hmm. they're doing pat downs after a guy was caught in a homicide. And, so and, and, I don't think their PR team is that crack staff. Also, if if. We end up asking a question that's not great. We could just be like, sorry, coach, wrong place, wrong time. True. Yeah, I'm going to do my best to get him on. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the state of the riders? Feels the like wait- it was a big week. Everyone was pumped uh, up. We had people. I'm noticing it. I'm noticing the it. Armies- yeah, NFL Network. God forbid we get the NFL Network. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I saw that. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Peter Schrager, yeah. friend of the program. West Bar, Ryder. He goes to DJs. <laughs> Somebody on here doesn't go to DJs. <laughs> Five years they've been waiting. Can you get your guy down here? He lo- He's supposed to love us. 
Bring Who, West me Cole or back? Dan? Who are you talking about? You. Well, we had my, we had my going away pe- party at TJ's. They serve pizza. They serve pizza. I was going to go when I was <laughs> Well, you were going to go out of spite because you knew I wasn't there. So you no, did no, a little no, surprise no. No, no, no. pop-up visit. No, I didn't. Pop-up, pop-up. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Like Jackie's dick said, when he I'll sees go- a seven. <laughs> pop-up, pop-up. That's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. I called you to let you know. That I was near DJ, I was going to go. You threw a tantrum, said I was embarrassing you. You wouldn't be allowed to go back. And then I said, fine, I won't go. But you called DJs to tell him I was coming. No, that's not and then, true. Yes, I, yes, it is. And I decided not to go. And then you threatened to throw yourself off the roof of your house. That's a fact. Because I embarrassed you to DJs. Well, and we have the yeah, video. If you're, if you're there, I got to be there. You see how that, like... You can't be there, and Correct. I can't not so be there. So then I said, as a courtesy, fine, I won't go. And then you're like, no, you're not going. I told him you were coming. You're embarrassing me. And you you literally were doing this. I'm going to do this off the top of off the roof of your house. I was in a dark spot, though. I was in a real bad spot. Drugs. And for those at home, he didn't even know that I was recording him. Right. He was literally threatening to kill himself because I first was going to go to DJ's and then decided I wouldn't out of respect to him. Facts. All facts. We, we got to go. Anthony All right, wants well, a live show there. It'd be nuts. You you can sell the riders are back. I mean, I, I said it on Wednesday. I'm close to being a rider again. Uh, I think I'm just waiting for, for a hammer play to come through that I ride. All right. Then I might be fully back into being a yeah, rider because I, for, listen. We're waiting, we're waiting for an enemy. A lot of people are like, hey, what do I do? I want to enlist. I'm like, listen, we're not taking enlisting right now. Do your burpees. Stay in shape because when the, the call comes, <laughs> We're going to war, so get ready. Do your fucking burpees and get going. Get in the weight room. When we get the green light for the one opponent or the one enemy, we're storming. Get on the boat, and you might have to take a couple of bullets for the guys in the back, but that's the price of doing business. Lay in the river. You died for the country. You died for the bigger cause, and we're going. We're getting to that beach. I like it. I'm pumped up. Yeah. Uh, And then the last thing I had was, so I teased it on last week's episode. Because I am a rider again, I'm not going to reveal the the ask. I think that's better done when we're all three of us are together. Would you guys agree? In private, yeah. In Over private? dinner, well, I'm, I... what do you got? Over dinner? Yeah. Okay. What What's do you mean? What do you got, Rico? It, it's your ask is how much of a raise you want. And I said I'm not going to say it until we're all together in private. Over dinner. The, the leaves are whispering that this is going to take my breath away. Yeah, I, I don't know why Double Agent Dan is... <laughs> I just in- said I'm not going to say it. No, but you're you're working both sides, big cat. Well, it's yeah, so I mean, obviously, Listen, he, I, knows yeah, that, he knows that he knows that he knows that my heard the whisper. to Dave. But I, I, I asked Dan, I said, am I going to be shell-shocked by this? And he said, I think you will be. Fair enough. And, and for the record, I want it on record that I didn't ask for that. Dan said, like, what is a goal? I have yet to ask for a thing. That's the That's new fact. Ever. That's a fact. Anything. I don't ask for a fucking thing. And what so I also what say, you. Rico. What the, I the say. The new you. What I say, I'll, I'll work, I'll work yeah, my ass did, off to get it for you. Work for it. And that's, gr- that's great to me. And then you also realize, like, the way, whatever the cards turn up on the flop, you got to either you're busted or you keep playing on. Let me ask you this. You don't then. go in a hole let me ask and you, fucking. D- let money. me ask you this, Rico. Sponsor. Because you're in the office <laughs> and you saw some of the stuff that's going on today. Yeah. While you're while you're game planning your raise, do you look at all of things that are going on around the office? A hundred percent. And. I've yet to ask for anything. So, like, that... Fact. That's a fact. You can't have... Like, you can't then turn private conversations, like, with my... I haven't said a word. And, and my rehab coach, because he did say last year, <laughs> I'm going to push you, and he's and my sponsor. I have. Sp- he's my and sponsor. He, so he, like, legitimately is my sponsor, and, like, and there's a client you. privilege, and now you're like, hey, what are they talking about in rehab? But, like, what, you know, what's he what, doing when he goes Rico, home? Who's on the fucking heavy bed? Rico, what, I have not how, said a number. How many rent soundtracks does he listen to to calm down? <laughs> You don't get to I, say that. You're not the doctor. I haven't said a number. I will not. I will not say the number until you he say that a I'm number. Okay saying the number. Rico and hasn't said a number. And I also want to remind you, as the sponsor and rehab coach and doctor, put your and, finger down. Put your finger down. <laughs> and now therapist, because I don't have one. You, by doctor client privilege, 
can't say that shit yet. I yeah, I'm not going from, to. From, from an outsider perspective who wants the best for everybody, I think this could be a combustible relationship using Dan, who is a great friend to you, Rico, and is also somebody who appreciates great content. Yeah, he's addicted to content. That's it, the thing it, I don't, it, you know, it, I don't I, know I, how I much I think he's just this. Yeah, I mean, so, but who's who's the crazy one when you just listed? He's your therapist. He's your hype man. Well, he, puts he, he puts a lot on my plate. He puts a lot. Rico, Rico fairness, followed me. I was down Remember in that well. well Rico. People were throwing but, grenades, but, snakes, bombs, yeah. pills. They were trying to kill me down there, and rightfully so. But and who had your back? Yeah, you did. You came right in the hole. So, like, you got to respect that too, Dave. Loyalty. Yeah. And also, Stop Rico. Oh, the lights are out. <laughs> Rico. <laughs> Rico, Dave, Rico followed me like five city blocks in New York that, City. That's exaggerating. You're like, hey, no, walk you out did. With me. He it's did. Tough. He did. No, you did. You he, do he did. that. He followed you me. Do that. Okay, because okay. I he you're was right. just. I did. You're right. A linger, he did. A linger. He you're you're talking. This this was in the like 72 hours of Bosco, right? No, this <laughs> was after after when, when he was when he came back and he just followed me for he literally followed. He, the, no no joke. He the followed me so much that Mike. He's right. The cops were called. He put the restraining order. They Mike had the guard, armed guard. guards outside the kids' schools. You're right. I was a fucking dildo, Dan. You're right. But you know what? I'm not following you now because nope. you're out you're good. in you're fun good. time land with Jackie at Tau. Uh, and here I am <laughs> grinding for the dream. And yeah, guess I'm, what? I'm Dreams are what makes life tolerable. Rudy's dead friend. Mark yes. it down. <laughs> uh, Dave, the, Mike's, the security guard literally started, like, they started having a rule that, like, if I'm leaving late, they would be like, do you need someone to walk with you? It was the Bosco rule. Because yeah, he, he followed it. me. He's right. No, he's right. Yeah. Uh, Rico, I'm saying this right now. Yes, I'm addicted to content. I will not say the number until you tell me I can say the number. And and what I said to you is a fact. I will work my yeah, balls gotta, off to get you the game number. Plan it. Yeah, but it, it's you get how that, like, the recovery of me is working out okay and nicely. And when you plant those seeds of week zero of being like, here we mm -hmm. go, raise. Well, Whitney that, got in my head. Whitney, yeah, Whitney I'm, was I'm, saying he needed the junkyard dog. I'm flirting back with depression, but luckily I am bigger than my problems. Like that can any any time you start really thinking raise, 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 just be like I harass Khan's wife. That should set the bar back to a level playing field. Also, Rico, if you're flirting with depression, then you, you won't be disappointed. Your you won't be disappointed. I'm not saying you can't ever get a raise, but if you get your hopes up, be like, is it a calendar year since I harassed an employee's wife? If the answer is no, then you got a level set. Okay. Have I gone a year without trying to murder somebody at the office? That's yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes Dave. Yes. Yes. Have you gone a year since harassing an employee's wife? No. No. Once we start getting to these yeses, then... You know, the arrow starts going up. Okay. I think your arrow's already going up, boss. I mean, he said he was going to murder himself, but then he threw him responsibly after. So that's a huge <laughs> that's a huge page turn. No, we don't have to be responsible anymore. <laughs> we, don't, we don't. Not even, yeah. Dave, we I think murder he was so he, he, he's, he's, a, he's a year late. The, he's the a year, those he's ladies a year late the on the responsible stuff. I'm getting better at laughing myself. You, did, you, you, said good, you said good job with the ladies making funny with the bag. And, like, really, you know, the end of the last year, like, Dave said what he dark needed time. to he's Listen, we were a band that's been going for 10 years, and, like, somebody's flirting with their own solo act, and, like, but ultimately, like, we And, and, and I got to be honest, well, it's, on, it's rare it? that and it's you rare think, that you have the violinist the in the back. You. That's all I needed to be Being the one who's flirting with his own career. It's usually the lead singer or something. It's usually not the guy in the back playing the banjo who's like, I'm going on my own. Well, you did. Okay. I was doing a nice moment. You also just said you were fading away to the oblivion. So God knows where we would have got you out of the hammock to do this show. But it's good. It's a good thing I'm here. I'll, yeah, I'll keep doing this forever. True blue guy. <laughs> But you did say, hey, he's irreplaceable. And Dan did try to, like, go find somebody else. But that he was mad. He was mad. He deserves that right. But you said what I needed to hear. Like, you're irreplaceable on this show. That was a good job to me. Build the good you job. You are. You are. I uh, Listen, when you when you when the 72 hours of Bosco happened, I was like, we're probably never going to. I was like, I, I will probably build, find build, someone, build, but build. it will never be the same. I said so we had to wait why, at least till the fall. That's why. I think I wanted to replace I you were, instantly. It, yeah. <laughs> and that's mad. why I didn't say. 
I was spite. Yeah, you. Oh, you deserve to be replaced. But <laughs> he was mad today. He was justifiably. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Just build. It's yeah. it's all about building the good jobs. Either way, he tries Bosco. to get good jobs every fucking weekend. So it's Who what does? you do. You just build a good job. <laughs> Bosco. Either way, you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. I will not. I give you my word. I will not say the number. I didn't. Dave, have I said the number to you? I had chances. No, Dave and I talk every day. I could easily say the number. Did not have not. I will. I will wait for the go ahead, and but I will I still really work to it, get though. you the number. Yeah, I haven't asked for it. You. That's true. That's a fact. All right. I kind of want to say the number right now. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm kidding. That was a joke. That was a joke. <laughs> okay. Should we talk some college football? Yeah, I got 27 game card. Oh fuck yes, Dave. He's back. He's back. Uh, Rico, do the ad, and then we'll talk some All right, college let's football. Let's do this. Hang on one second. All right, let me tell you about our friends at Game Time, the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports, created by fans for fans. Game Time is the ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last-minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. Uh, I went to see Billy Joel, Stevie Nicks, uh, this past summer. Unbelievable. Uh, he's at Gillette. I don't know if, if that's on your radar, Dave, but Billy Joel, Stevie Nicks, great show. Uh, go get it with Game Time. It's possible with the Game Time app. The biggest last-minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. The purchase process takes just two taps and 10 seconds, and once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text so you can get into the game seamlessly. Skip the hassle and enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email, and redeem code PICKEM, P-I-C-K-E-M, for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. While you're doing that, I'm sending you guys um, the merch that we have, kind of a collab for that Alabama game. It's pretty sweet. I just sent it to you guys. Oh, shit. We're going to put that on sale. This is awesome. Yeah, because Old Row is where is Alabama. I'm oh, so excited. Sweet. I'm so excited yeah. for this Alabama game. Dave and I were talking, like, because we don't usually go to the games because our schedule's so busy. We're going to this game. We got to. Yep. We got to see it. So... Tuscaloosa you got to go. It's, uh, you, we usually do that when we're at a spot we haven't been. Yeah. Like Tennessee, we did it. We went to LSU. I'd never been there. So I'm excited. You got to go. I mean, you got to go to Tuscaloosa. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very excited. That's going to be an awesome. Next week's got a great card. Uh, all right. Let's get into the games this week. We got, I, I circled five games that we'll go through, starting with Florida at Utah Thursday night. Utah right now is a six and a half point favorite. The over under is forty four. Shockingly low. Yeah, forty four and a half, which makes me scared. Graham Mertz starting for Florida. Uh, Cam Rising, we don't know if he's Banged playing. Up. Yeah, I haven't coming seen off the of ACL. Yet. Ebo, you got light on that? Is he playing? Evan, by the way, Ebo, who do, people don't know, they probably know him from Pick Central. Incredible stats guy. He's in Chicago, so he'll be part of the show now. Uh, I did not get any scoops on camera. Okay. That line way to, screams. Way, wow. way to go, Ebo. Great, great yeah, first no, sentence. I, I, mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I have this power broker phone that has all these connections <laughs> to coaches. I didn't see anything. All right, Ebo. First episode, one shot. Okay. All right. <laughs> it is true. He, I, I respect the honesty because Rico would be like, well, some guy DM me and there's. What was the what was the famous TCU DM that you got? Multiple, yeah, pe multiple people said it. Multiple people. All right, so Dave, what do you got in this game? How do you pick this without knowing Cam Rising? I I didn't know he was questionable, so I loved Utah and I loved the over, but Cam Rising makes that team go. I think he's one of the best QBs in the country. So I I don't know how to do. It. I guess start if Cam Rising doesn't play. I think this is Florida. Uh, can win the game and it may be low scoring. But if Cam Rising plays, I'm going Utah over. No Cam Rising and go Florida under. That's how important I think Cam Rising is to Utah. But the so are you locking in a pick though? Because obviously the the line will change if he's playing. I to me that line may to me I feel like I'm a little confused because the the spread six and a half to me makes it seem like he is playing. The under makes me a little bit like like he's not. Right. I don't know that. So I guess I'm locking in Utah at minus seven or less. Six if it and goes a half, above yeah. seven, 
Yeah, I'll take him at seven. If it goes seven and a half and more, then I'm not locking in. I guess we got to pick the game. Then I'm taking Florida. Okay. If Florida's catching seven and a half points or more, Florida. If it's right. seven or under, Utah. Rico. I think he's going to play. I think it's a big game. He knew, He saw what happened last year. They had. They got snake bitten uh, or gator bitten, uh, pun intended. I think he wants to play. I think he'll figure it's it out. That's not what a pun is. It's not? I don't think that's a pun. Yeah, gator. Okay. Uh, I think he figures it out. Big time players show up. I'll roll with Utah, but I do agree with Dave. He obviously means a lot, and not knowing his status is very risky, but I'll take Utah. Okay, I'm going to take Utah minus six and a half. I'm just going to lock it in and hope he plays. I know th- the other thing also, is it's Graham Mertz, it, and I like Graham Mertz as a person. I don't know how I feel about Graham Mertz. First first game in a new offense on the road, Utah, night, all that. I've seen the Graham Mertz. He might grow. I think he's going to have a better year than he had at Wisconsin because he's got a better team around him than last year's Badgers. But I just this is a tough, tough spot to start your career at Florida. Yeah, one of the toughest places to play in the country. What was that, Rico? Oh, you're doing the lights. Keeping the lights. Keep the lights. All right. Uh, next up, our guy Prime. Colorado at TCU. TCU's minus twenty and a half. Rico, why don't you start? I guess you got to roll with Prime. Um, you know. Went and hit the portal, got some athletes, obviously rejuvenation out there. I'll roll with Prime. I'm interested to see how this is going to go because um, he did come in kind of abrasive at Colorado, but to a, you know, to a degree they wanted him, but he also was like, I'm getting rid of a lot of guys. So I think he's, he's talking the talk. He's got to back it up. I'll roll with uh, Colorado. Dave. I'm taking Colorado. I, I have faith in him as a coach, obviously. It could be a year or two before he gets fully his players in, but the portal helps. The TCU quarterback's gone, right? Yes, yeah. Max Duggan is in the pros. Yeah, Duggan's gone, so I, I he made that offense click. Um, and, and they really came out of nowhere, TCU, last year. So I think they come back down to earth. They won a million tight games. I think Colorado will be greatly improved. To be honest, I think 20 points is a joke. I don't know that Colorado wins the game, but – I the court his son is awesome, um, and they got the two cornerbacks. So I I think it wouldn't shock me if they won the game. I really think the spread's way too big. All right, I'm gonna take the over sixty three and a half is what it is right now. I don't know. I I want the only believe... thing about that is Dion was pretty conservative at Jackson State. That's true, but yeah, the the thing that makes me nervous about Colorado is the amount of change that they've had is so significant. I have full trust in Dion, but this first game is going to be tough. Like, and it's a step up for a lot of dudes. Maybe I'll go TCU team total over. I don't know. Do we have that? Can we find that Jackie? It is a step up, but I mean the, the, the cornerback Travis Hunter was like the number one recruit in the country. He got the number one recruit in the country. His son is a top 10 like quarterback. So he's still got skilled guys everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it, it's just more like line play, all that shit. It's, True. It's hard to but throw But if you have those two there. cornerbacks who are as good as a- advertised, if you have two, like, NFL lockdown quarterbacks, it's cornerbacks on a college team, I don't care who you have on the defensive line. You can just stack the box and do whatever. So I think they're going to be pretty good. Uh, okay, I will uh, – I'll try to find a, a, a TCU over number, Jack, so I don't do a fake number. All right, give me that, 41 and a half. So don't do a fake half. number like Bosco. Bosco has it at 26 and a half, um, minus 3,000. Uh, okay. <laughs> what? No, you're right. Got to get better. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, we've only been doing it. How many presidencies, according to you? Three now. Four. Three still, four. I think. Whatever it is, it's, that, that's quite a bit to not – Realize that we don't really do minus two twenty picks on this show. It's- I yeah, it was a bad line. It was early in the morning. I was worried about the Boston Awards. Can't be laying two hundred. Were you upset that you didn't win an award? No, no. I was just happy to be at the family table. I thought that was a beautiful touch. That was a nice touch. Thank you that for that. Very day. nice touch. You think I did the seating chart? Okay. Uh, in my head, in part of my recovery and the good jobs and building the good jobs. 
I do think he did the seating chart. I, I I not only didn't do the seating chart, I don't know where you sat. Okay. Your parents. I guess with my parents. I got, you, I got you, Rico. Saying? Yeah. It was your parents, Elio, Erica, uh, Silvana, oh. and then uh, two guys from Mississippi. Got Dave, it. if you had done the CD chart, then, where would no. Bosco have sat? He probably would have. I would have put him with you guys. Yeah, we were with Wallow Gilly four playing PMT. That was table one. So that's, the squad that works too. Yeah, it was squad. It was an interesting squad, and it was very interesting watching Riggs come back crying. That was, that was good job, crazy. Dude. I fucking love Riggs. <laughs> the guy wears his heart on his sleeve. He's he's the best. Um, all right. West Virginia, Penn State, Penn State at night. Penn State's going to be really fucking good this year. I'll start. I'm taking – I'm laying the number. I took Penn State minus – I think it was 20 and a half. Uh, I'll double check, but 20 and a half. Uh, I think Penn State's going to kick their ass. I think West Virginia is going to be in for a very long team. Coach is already on the hot seat going into the game. So uh, I, I just think Penn State, like this is – this is probably their best chance to go to the college football playoff this year. Uh, I'm going to take Penn State minus 20 and a half. Rico, um, or Dave. I'm, I'm, I'm always. Uh, it's minus 20. I got minus 20. Penn State minus 20. You, you're taking West Virginia because always, of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's going to be a long year uh, fading, the, fading the fucking cult. Well, you get the spread. So theoretically, it's 50 50. Um, I always take West Virginia. And so I don't know why I always I I I, don't, I just always think they're better than they are. Um, Twenty points to me is just too much for Virginia. Do we have to clap? Is there? I don't know. I hear people clapping. I'm taking West Virginia and the points. The uh, Rico, it's always going to be West Virginia. I got to fade the cult. Got to fade. Just got to hope. God damn it! You're doing that for theatrics now. Uh, I mean, come on, Rico. It's not that big of a deal. You just get right, up you're and right, you do right. it. All right, you're right. You're right. Well, you don't happens. need you don't need to re- resort to cheap right. parlor tricks. All right. I... <laughs> All right. Well, can you just you're keep right. the light on? I just I don't uh, know. Was... Hank, it doesn't. What do you want me to say? It's... No, it, it's like a motion sensor. Yeah. It's fucked up. Pete Pete fucked me when he made yeah, that off. Whatever. So you just gotta hope State Pen doesn't show up like uh, miraculously. Like uh, Ray Greiser did apparently. You know, just went missing. So that's why I gotta hope for this State Pen offense every week. Okay. Uh, Jack, did I make a pick on Utah, Florida? I have the minus six and a half and over 44 and a half if I didn't, if I didn't say it. Uh, next game up, UNC, South Carolina. Uh, Saturday night, ABC, Duke Mayo Classic. UNC's minus two and a half over under 64 and a half. Spencer Rattler versus Drake May. Rico, I'll start with you. Over. Uh, Drake may obviously really good. I've watched UNC. I've laid numbers with UNC. The defense is oh, so nice. What? Nice. You've watched UNC. I I mean, Rico, it's okay. It's just it's so hard. It's every element of like it's. There's got to be a little bit of like leeway. Yeah, I've watched well, UNC. The defense is bad. They don't play defense. Great offense. Laid the number. Always got to take the over. Over 64. And a half. Good analysis. Remember last year? That was my favorite bet ever when I took uh, my mortal lock was UNC Appalachian State over, and it hit in, like, the second quarter. Oh, it was unbelievable. It was the best. Is this, is this a trap game to me? Maybe I'm an idiot, but the way that South Carolina finished the season, to me, it, like, screams South Carolina. In fact, and I don't mean disrespect to you, Rico, because – now I cut you off. If you were all over South Carolina, I was going to go North Carolina. But you didn't fall into that trap. Now maybe I'm going to fall into the trap. I'm taking South Carolina in the over. I am sold on what they did at the end of the season last year. They were very good at the end. Yeah. Um fuck. I'll just I'm going to I'm going to take the over as well, 64 and a half. I don't I I agree with you, Dave. I I I looked at this line and I was like, "What the fuck? I thought South Carolina yeah. would be favored." Me too. I mean, they, they, they beat Tennessee by, like, 100. Who They beat Clemson. And they, they won their they bowl were very, game. Yeah, they, and they were putting up, like, a bazillion points. And people were chanting Beamer ball. Fuck, yeah. this makes me want to take North Carolina. Yeah, I thought they'd be, like, a four-and-a-half-point favorite. Huh. Okay. Um, last game, 
best game of the weekend, Sunday night. Uh, it is Florida State, LSU. In New Orleans? Uh, I think this game is maybe in Camping World. Yeah, Camping World. So Orlando. Orlando. I mean, is it it'll Orlando be probably this game. Yeah, it'll probably because they played in New Orleans last year. So they, you know, they do these when they when they play when teams play like Notre Dame and Wisconsin yeah. played at Soldier Field. Then Orlando's they're gonna play Lambo. They don't play horrible. That's a horrible place for this game. Yeah, that's not I mean, near it'll be Tallahassee. Packed. What? Yeah, but New Orleans. It's not near Tallahassee. No, no, it's yeah. Well, New, because well, you they play did New, New Orleans. Orleans. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, but it's like your New Orleans is LSU. I mean, it's pretty much LSU. You're having like uh, I, Orlando is it, Orlando is where uh, C- CF uh, UCF, UCF UCF is. Yeah, um, yeah. You got that nice jumpsuit, Dave. If you ever start rooting for UCF, thank you, Dave. This is a big game for you. Uh, why? Well, I just assume you'll have to – you'll be watching it oh, in a Silvana. bar Savannah. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it will yeah. be one of those she, games she, if you bet listen, the other side, it's going to be a the, problem. Yeah, she becomes the biggest fan of all time. She doesn't know this game is in her hometown. She's from Orlando. Um, I actually like the Knowles. I love the quarterback. And if I was making two Heisman bets, it would be him and Howell. I absolutely love the Florida State quarterback. Um, I think he's one of the best players in the country. I'm not sold – and everyone names, I forget, was it Jenkins, uh, Daniels of Florida Jayden State? Jaden Daniels. Uh, Jaden Daniels. Daniels is a quarterback for LSU. Jordan Travis is a quarterback LSU, for LSU. right, right. L- the LSU Daniels. I think he's a slow mover. Say whatever you want. I think he moves slow. Ooh. From what? Based on what? Like decisions, the way he looks running, unless he's like Eric Dickerson where he just looks slow. He's moving 100 miles per hour. I think LSU will be much improved. I, I hate the coach, but he's a great coach. But this kid for Florida State is the real deal, and they're going to win this game. Okay. Rico. And the over. Yeah, it's it's weird that it's being played week one because I do think these are two of the best eight at the end of this. They're well, they did, right. they did it last they, year, too. They okay. scheduled it like 10 years ago. All right. Let well, me why is it weird, weird though? Me why? why? The process of the fact that the best games in college, we get them early, and then these teams have to battle from behind the eight ball and get a but, but, but just, just, I think they're just so I contenders. just to clarify, why is it weird? Because they always do that. Not just this, no, but there's I, always yeah, I big. I just said weird. I guess sucky. It sucks that one of these teams is going to have a okay. loss when I think but down the road. Better. It's better to lose yeah, week definitely one for entertainment. It's great. Yeah, it's great to get no, five days. No, of- no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's better if you're going to lose. Right, lose early. Lose week one. Yeah, but um, if, but either of these teams lose and run the table, they're probably still in the be playoff. Five. They're 100 yeah. percent in the playoff. Right. I mean, I'll say 100. percent no, Yeah, they have no wiggle room. No, if, wi- they do, if they do get a second loss, uh, yeah, it's LSU may Florida State probably not. Right. I, yeah, I think LSU can get a second one and still get there. Uh, I'm going to take LSU. I think Brian Kelly in close games is really good. Like you said, you know, all those years in Notre Dame, the experience. Florida State's very, very very good. I agree with you with Travis. It's going to be a great game to watch. I'm leaning with the guy with a little bit more experience. I'm going to go with LSU. Who's got okay. more experience? Kelly. Oh, the coach. Yeah. I'm going LSU again as well. Uh, this is mostly based on just like a weird kind of pseudo revenge factor with the way that game ended last year. Like LSU should have, you know, should have gone to overtime. The the fucked up extra point. New coach uh, last year with Brian Kelly. They they found themselves. They have big 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 time aspirations. Both these teams do. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with LSU. It is a great game. I, I, I mean, both these quarterbacks, like you said, Dave, are, are great quarterbacks. So it's going to be a fucking great. awesome game to watch. Um, I, I mean, I, I think the FSU guy is head and shoulders above the LSU QB, but they're yeah. both good. He's good at Arizona State. He's good at LSU. I think he's pretty good. I, just, I love the, I love, I love the other guy. Um. Okay, let's go to our cards. Unless anyone else has any other thoughts before we start, before we do the cards. All right, Rico, you want to start? Yeah, I'll take uh, Wisconsin minus the 27. I think I'm I'm fading. I'm riding teams I liked going into the preseason. So Wisconsin's my national title pick. I think they put it on Buffalo. 
Um, Wazoo, Colorado State over 54 and a half. You got Jay Norvell at Colorado State, Cam Ward at Wazoo. That offense is going to get going. I think this is a tad low. I'll take that over. I love South Alabama coming into this. I know Tulane is really, really good, but plus the six and a half, I'll take South Alabama. They're my pick to win that conference. I took their win total over. I like that team. And then this one's just a math game to me. It seems off. I could be falling into the trap. Texas A&M, North, uh, New Mexico. Texas A&M is laying 38 and a half. The total is 48 and a half. So they're saying inherently they think the score is going to be what? 42 nothing? I need seven more to go over this number. New Mexico's got the kid from UAB a little bit better. I think New Mexico is bad. They're going to give some short field to Texas A&M, some easy scores. I think Jimbo needs to get people back on his side. Big number at home. I'm going to take that as well. They need a big output. Um, Connor Wegman, five starts last year. He put up good numbers for Texas A&M. Texas A&M might get the 49 themselves. I, I will take the over 48 and a half, and I got one more for the lock. Okay. Dave. All right. I, it's a big card, so I'll whip through it. Some of them I already gave out. Um, Utah minus six and a half if that goes the other way, and the over 44 and a half. I already said if it goes the – if it moves past seven, I'm flipping to Florida. Georgia Tech plus seven and a half at home against Louisville. I like Hawaii at home on island plus three and a half against Stanford over 59 and a half. Hawaii's running the run and shoot again. It's not lightning speed, but quarterback's pretty good. They throw it pretty good. I like Colorado plus 20 and a half. Michigan um, scheduled a monster week one. I like them at home against ECU minus 35 and a half and over 51 and a half. I like Purdue at home plus uh, minus three and a half against Fresno. I agree with we, uh, Rico. I get Wisconsin minus 27 and a half against Buffalo. Um, Washington minus 14 and a half against Boise at home. A&M minus 38 and a half at home against New Mexico. South Carolina plus two and a half over 64 and a half against North Carolina. Illinois minus nine and a half at home against Toledo. Already gave out West Virginia. I agree with Rico. Self uh, Alabama plus six and a half at Tulane. Virginia Tech minus 16 at home against Old Dominion. Over Coastal Carolina, UCLA, 65 and a half. BYU minus 20 at home, San Jose State. Rutgers minus six and a half against Northwestern. I mean, I just got to believe Northwestern is, they, they may not even show up with what's mm-hmm. going on. I don't, if they don't have Fitzgerald, they don't have a rally around guy. Uh, San Jose State actually didn't embarrass themselves at all against uh, USC at home plus 16 against Oregon State over 54 and a half Florida State plus two and a half at home LSU over 56 and a half you got the QB duel in Clemson minus 12 and a half against Duke on the road there you go 27 picks okay uh, I'm gonna obviously add some because it's only Tuesday that we're taping but right now I have Utah minus six and a half, the over 44 and a half, uh, TCU over 41 and a half team total, UNC, South Carolina over 64 and a half, Penn State minus 20, LSU minus two and a half. I have Boise State plus 14 and a half, North Texas plus seven, Temple, Akron over 56, uh, La Tech, SMU over 66 and a half. I have <clears throat> Texas Tech minus 14. I have Iowa minus 25. I know their offense stinks. They got Dave's old guy, quarterback now. Also, Kirk Ferentz, uh, when asked about Utah State, what was his exact quote? I think it was. They got a good punter. They got a they good got punter. The, they got a, they got a great punter. That's you better be able to back that up. Well, I mean, Penn, Iowa will play good special teams. They always do. Um, I also have uh, – Rutgers minus six and a half. Dave just said that. I agree with him there. I think that's going to be uh, a bad, bad season for Northwestern. Yeah, Kirk Ferentz on Utah State. Their punter is a good punter. Um, <laughs> great quote. Great quote. And then my lock of the week, I already tweeted out. I'm taking the Badgers minus 27 at home against no, Buffalo. No. Raise the banner. Don't, don't, don't. Let's just win this game. Let's cover this game. All right. And then we can figure out everything else. Okay. Fair enough. Also, UTSA minus one and a half, uh, and that is my card, which I will be adding to, Jack. Jack, have you been shadow banned on Twitter? I, I can't find your, your I handle. I shouldn't be. Why? Uh, 
Lock of the weeks. Right, well, I'll, well I'll it's not it. your fault if you're shadow banned. Yeah, how do you fix? I mean, how do you fix that? I don't have my last name on it. I think that's why oh, it doesn't pop it. up. Okay. Yeah. The, sev- the seventh table joke, uh, Rico. No, I'm going to save it. You're right. You can't keep beating a dead horse. So I'll save it. Thank no, you, just let it let you. it go. Say it to me. Just I, me. What, what I, I listen. I'm not. I'm a, I obviously love thoroughbreds and horses. It's been a terrible season in Saratoga. I thought it was fairly classless right after a horse died um, for you to tweet the gift of the dead horse being beat by baseball bat, Rico. I think it was a stick. I don't think it was a baseball bat, but whatever. It's he's not. Francesca said he's not a horse guy. Remember when, when Rico guy. called yeah, in yeah, and yeah. said, hey, what, what do you do? You like the horse that Baffert's on this weekend? Yeah. <laughs> he thought Baff- Baffert was a jockey. Yeah. No. If I was going to say it, Dan, I would say you'd have a lot easier time finding Jack if you were an eight with a 34D. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's a lot easier to, to get into Jack's orbit if you're looking for verification and you want to be a star in gambling. A lot easier to find that Jay McCarthy 5'5 five five on the old bird. You know? Hey, <laughs> hey baby, you want to get verified? Hey, David, still plays. Like, you want to you wanna knock me down, but, like, hundo, 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 hundo. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Like, I'm a closer. Hundo. I That's got Jackie basketball. at the club. That's, That's Jackie got. at live. Oh, Rico. I mean, the riders are back. I, I'm waiting for one me. lock of the week. I'm one lock of the week, one hammer play away from being right. back ease, on the riders. Ease, ease. Yeah, we're not, going, okay. we're not emptying the clip too early. Uh, okay, have, okay, 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 okay. Money for apple picking. Uh, I like to empty the clip early. All right, uh, Liam, what's your lock of the week? We haven't. Rico didn't give his, did he? No, no. I'm gonna. I'll um, end with Rico. All right, all right. I'll do the LSU Florida State over fifty six and a half. Okay, uh, Ebo, what's your lock of the week? Uh, South Carolina. Okay. Uh, Jack. I like TCU <laughs> minus twenty and a half. Ooh, going against the family. Damn. Hank. I'm going to be in a 30-person bachelor party this weekend in Nashville. 20, 20 UMass dudes, uh, so I'm going UMass plus 34 and a half. Maybe sprinkle some on the money line, too. Who are they playing? Auburn. Auburn. <laughs> Hugh Freeze's first game. That's a wild move. But yeah. Imagine, know. but imagine. Well, UMass, UMass played better. They, get, they won last week, right? Yeah, they looked, yeah. I had them. They were yeah. good. I know a guy on the yeah. staff. They're definitely they're doing well. Oh. Yeah. Not, well, now we can confirm they won the game last week. Does he think they think they got a shot? You know, I texted him today to reach out. He didn't answer, so uh, oh. we'll see. I gotta get. Uh, no, no. Is this kind of like a if if a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? If if Rico's got a guy, but he never responds to the text, does Rico well, have a guy? A I played for him. I played for him way back in the day, so it's it has been a while. But you know, obviously they won. Hadn't talked to him, uh, but yeah, I, you know they're doing well. Hank, the coach is the be a dude guy. Yeah, Don Brown, Dave's old guy yeah. at yeah, Michigan. Yep. Defense quarter. Yeah, yep, I yeah. like him. Dudes, dudes everywhere. Uh, you know what? I'll add UMass to my card. Let's go! Wow. Okay, Reek, uh, Dave, what's your motor lock? I'm gonna go with Rutgers. Rutgers minus six and a half. Sometimes don't think, just throw. That to me. I don't know what the actual talent differential is on the field, but you got one program, Chiano, that everyone has bought in, and, and they're going to be ready to roll versus another program that is destroyed. Dead. So I will go with Rutgers. Only yep. my six and a half, and maybe win by 40. Rico, finish us off. Another team I'm high on, I think they can s- sneak into the discussion of winning the ACC. I'm going to take Louisville minus the seven and a half against Georgia Tech. Uh, Brom going there, obviously loved him at Purdue. Plummer is the quarterback, great running backs, Jordan and the kid Turner, six back on a defense that shut down Sam Hartman last year. I made the mistake of backing Wake, and Dave immediately when I said it, there's a famous clip, he's like, I'm on Louisville. Louisville's really, really good, high win total, good team. Georgia Tech offense has been a struggle since moving away from this triple option. I like Louisville minus the seven and a half. Okay. Well, that was a good pick em, boys. Great pick. That was a great pick em. You feel good? All right. Feels good. Rico, you're going to be uh, with us on uh, next week. You're going to fly in? Yes. It's already booked. Okay, perfect. And then, uh, yeah, Dave, I don't know when. I'll see you for 
for Alabama, see Texas. Alabama. Yeah, I'm meeting you there. Yep. Okay. Love it. All right. Thanks, boys. We'll see All everyone right. next week. All right. See you.